and we back. Now, do y'all remember a few weeks ago, we did a quiz named Who Am I NBA Edition. Now, in that quiz, I had so much fun. And at the end of it, I said like, yo, somebody please create a part two. Now, here we are a few weeks later. Somebody created a part two. See, that's what I love about y'all. When there's a request, y'all pull through. So today's video, we're doing the Can You Name the Who Am I NBA Edition part, part two. So shout out to Ecuador's Legit for creating this. The, the concept of this is very simple, but you really have to be paying attention to understand. So let me try to break it down for y'all. Once we hit play quiz, the first hint for all the NBA players are going to pop up. And if that first hint is not enough, then we ask for hit number two. Now, if hit number two is not enough, then we ask for hit number three. Then after that, there is no more hints. We have to make a guess. Now, if we guess the NBA player before getting all three hints, I get bonus points. And that's what we're here for. Because I feel like if we get all three hits, I should be able to get them all right. But it's trying to get them before you get the three hints. Now, as you can see at the bottom, we have not played this just yet. The bot only at 14 right, which is weird because you literally... You'll see why it's weird that the bot only got 14. Like, you should walk out of here with at least 30 right. But let's get it. So here are the first hints from all... How many players are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 players. The first hints. So I play with Isaiah Thomas, Dwayne Wade, and Cal Lowry. Now, obviously, that is not enough. You know, you can make some deductions. So this means that this player either played for the Miami Heat or the Chicago Bulls for a year. But that's the only deduction I really got from that. So we type in A2 to get A2. I received one All-Star selection and one All-NBA selection, not in the same season. Now, that is a very rare thing to happen in the NBA because usually if you're an All-NBA player, you were an All-Star a couple months before. But I already got the answer. So let's think about this. This player played with Isaiah Thomas in Phoenix, a point guard that played with Isaiah Thomas in Phoenix. Then, a point guard that played with Dwayne Wade in Miami. Then, a point guard. Where did Cal Lowry and this guy play together? Houston? Well, the, the guy I'm thinking of is Goran Dragic. Or what, what? Dragic. Booyah. And the last hint was, I did not get the memo about a point guard who can go upstairs and proceeded to get posted on a breakaway dunk. Played a clip, one of my favorite clips of NBA history. I have played with Josh Smith. Josh Smith has been out of the league for a couple years now. Joe Kim Noah and Aaron Baines. That is not enough. The first name that comes to mind kind of is Pal Gasol because Pal Gasol played with Joe Kim Noah in Chicago. And then he played with Aaron Baines in San Antonio, I'm pretty sure. But he's never crossed paths with Josh Smith. So we're going to ask for that second hint. I play for the Spanish na country nationally and speak Spanish as well despite not having a Spanish sounding huh, my name not sounding hispanic that's still not enough because again i got pal gasol in my mind but pal gasol never played with josh smith so we're gonna need all three hints here i can occasionally be found flinching when another player misses a free throw see that's enough that's all you need to hear is al horford where did al horford play alongside josh smith in atlanta what am i yeah in atlanta okay so we still get that right. We just don't get bonus points because we needed all three hits. I play with Jason Kidd, Giannis, and Dikembe Mutombo. So we're talking about a player that's been in the league for a minute. Because there's a period of time when Jason Kidd was Giannis' coach. But okay, let's get the second hit. Amongst active players, I lead the league in career threes made. Boom, that's all I need to hear. Again, as somebody that's been in the league for a long time, it is Jason Terry, the Jet. Jason Terry. And then the last hand was I won a ring in 2011. Famously torched LeBron James in the finals repeatedly. Yeah, he got his ring. Respect Jason Terry for that ring. I mean, that team fought hard and they ended up beating the Miami Heat. Okay, I played with Zaza Pachulia, Tayshaun Prince, and Tyson Chandler. So another player that's been in the league for a long time because Tayshaun Prince retired a minute ago. But let's get the second hand. I am the recipient of one of the most Vicious dunks in recent NBA history getting demolished in the game versus the Clippers. That's it. This player played with Tayshaun Prince? Because this guy's relatively young. And, well, I'm thinking about Brandon Knight. Y'all know the dunk with Brandon Knight. I ain't, I ain't even got to show the clip. Y'all know the exact dunk of Brandon Knight getting destroyed. 
but I had no idea he played alongside Tayshaun Prince. And then the last hint was, um, along with the poster, I also got my ankles broken twice in the Rising Stars Challenge by young Kyrie Irving. Brandon Knight has been on the end of a lot of things in NBA history, a lot of things that make him uh, laughable. But uh, hopefully he comes back and, uh, I don't know, is he playing yet? I don't even know if he's playing yet. Okay. I have played with Anthony Davis, Chris Kamen, and Nene. That is not enough, so let me get number two. In 2007, I was the number two high school recruit in my country ahead of players like Derrick Rose, Blake Griffin, and Cal Singler. I know this answer. Eric Gordon played with Anthony Davis in New Orleans, Chris Kamen in New Orleans, and then Nene right now in Houston. So this is, oh, and Eric Gordon was highly recruited. Boom. Since signing with my current team, I have become a per perennial sixth man of the year candidate winning it once. He's always in conversations, baby. So we got that one pretty early. So let's get to F. I have played with Carthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, Nico Jokic. So this is a guy that played with some of the best centers in the league. All right, let's get number two. I was the sixth recruit, high school recruit in the nation above De Devin Booker and D'Angelo Russell. That tells me nothing. That tells me he was draft. I mean, he was in high school in 2014. I think that was the year they graduated high school. But all right, that's not enough. I was traded on draft night for the rights to draft a player who would go on to be an all-rookie first team and runner-up for rookie of the year. Okay, let's get this timeline down. So he was in high school in 2014. That's when he graduated high school. So that means he went to college. And most likely, if he's the number six recruit, he probably stayed in college for only one year. Which means that he was drafted... 2015? Or was that 2016? 2015. So he was traded for whoever was the runner-up for rookie year in 2016... The runner, for, which was Donovan Mitchell. Who was Donovan Mitchell traded for on draft night? Trey Lyles. But Trey Lyles didn't play with Carthony. Okay, let me put the guess in. So it is Trey, Trey Lyles. He did not play with Carthony Towns, though. He played with Rudy Gobert in Utah. And he plays with Nikola Jokic. College. College. All right, they, they both play with Kentucky, correct? I think that's right. Okay, I play with AK-47, Cal Corver, and Wilson Chandler. That is not enough. Let's get number two. While I am the only current player in the NBA who went to my school, the other, the only other player of note was Carl Malone. See, for y'all that's new around the channel, one thing that I'm very good at is knowing what colleges players went to. Carl Malone went to Louisiana Tech. The only other player that I know of on top of my head to go to Louisiana Tech is none other than Paul Millsap. Boom. After the retirement of Manu Ginobili, I am currently the player with the most all-star selections drafted in the second round. Yes, Paul, Paul Millsap. Not Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap. Okay, three more left. I have played with Jean Rondo, Aaron Brooks, and Tony Allen. That don't tell me nothing. So let's go on to the next one. After signing for my current team, I play an average of 35 games per year, missing the rest of injury. There are a decent amount of players that are kind of injury struck. So let's go to the last clue. I still own the record for most threes in a single half. That is Chandler Parsons. Chandler Parsons played with Rondo Ware. I guess it doesn't really matter. I got it right anyway. I play with Iggy, Avi Bradley, and Alfred Rukaminu. I have an idea who it is, but let's get to second hint. Widely regarded as one of the bigger busts. Yes, okay, that's it. First of all, we're going to put some respect on Evan Turner's name just because where he's from. But, yeah, it's Evan Turner. I, I could have just guessed it off A1 or I1 because I had it. Iggy and Philly. Afro Gaminu now. Actually, where did he? Oh, in Boston with Evan Tur or with um Avery Bradley. I could have got that one off one hand, but I had to be sure because I don't want to get nothing wrong. I played with DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, and Kirk Heinrich. So potentially a former Bull or a former Atlanta Hawk with uh, Kirk Heinrich. I am one of the 
greatest players in recent college history won a 2011 National Player of the Year award. That's not enough. Since taking my talents abroad, I have become a Chinese basketball sensation. That is Jimmer. Jimmer. Ooh, how do you spell for debt, though? For debt. Boom. Whoa. That's new. Uh, the sporical thing, that's new. We got um, a 26 because for every hint that you ask is a wrong answer. So that's pretty good because the average is only a 39. It could have been higher if I didn't guess. I could have just guessed Evan Turner. But nonetheless, we got all of them right. It did take us three hints for some, but I, I'm very happy with my score. And that is it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, to leave it a like. We'll be back tomorrow with another 2K experiment video. You guys have been loving it. And I got one that a fan told me to try out, and I'm really curious to how it works out. Thank you all so much. Peace.